Hello friends, my name is Krishan Khan Singer. In today's episode, I am going to talk about Google Cloud Stories. In previous video, I have talked about cloud function, cloud pops up. Now I am talking about cloud stories. So in this video, I will be talking about what is the Google Cloud Stories, uh, why it is useful, how we can create uh, stories in uh, Google Console and how we can use it. So let's deep dive in. Uh, Google Cloud Storage, it is a service provided by Google for storing your data. So you can store, uh, it's a persistent storage which is durable, replicated and also available through HTTP URL. So basically if you have lot of data or like uh, you want to store data somewhere securely, uh, securely and reliably, so Google Cloud Storage is one option for you it is reliable and durable when i say reliable and durable in the sense your data is uh, replicated to multiple region and uh, multiple regions so like in case if uh, there is a failure in one data center or any other thing you are still you will be able to uh, get your data when we uh, talk about cloud storage it's a object uh, it's a object uh, storage so Google provide uh, three kind of storage. One is like persistent uh, storage. Second is NAS, which is network related to network attached storage. And the third one is this object storage. We have to learn two vocabulary. One is bucket and object. So bucket is kind of a container. So basically, ba bucket is basic container that hold your data. Okay, everything that you store in Google Cloud Storage must be in a bucket you can use bucket to organize your data and control access to your data but you cannot nest uh, buckets so like if you in your file system in your computer you can have directories and inside the directory you can have another directory like that folders and all in case of uh, cloud storage you cannot have bucket inside bucket but you can have the fold folders okay and then any data which is getting stored in the uh, cloud storage or bucket is known as the object here. So object has two component, object data and object metadata. The object data component is usually a file that you want to store in Google Cloud Storage. The object metadata component is a collection of name value pair that describes various object quality. So you can means like uh, you can attach metadata to that file and specify name uh, means like which kind of file it is and those kind of thing okay and there is no limit on the number of object that you can create in a bucket so basically google providers different storage classes on the basis of our requirement and need for the example you want a data let us assume your data is very critical for you and you require a uh, access that data very frequently in that case you can go for multi-regional where your data will be uh, your data will be stored at uh, will be replicated to multiple uh, multiple region and it will be frequently accessed but in this case your cost will be in increased your cost will be high so basically it's a geo so if you see this diagram so multi-regional means your data will be stored in multi-region uh, but uh, it will the cost will be a little bit high price shown here uh, might be uh, not accurate or it can change okay so in multi-regional you are redundant 99.95 percent sla and we have another class which is known as the regional so if you don't want to store your data into multi-region you can store your data into a region here in here also it will be replicated to multiple zones so your data will be replicated to multiple zones so one zone fail you have you still have the data so here also you have a reliability of the data the only thing is uh, it's a single region if the whole single region fail then we have the problem okay but the cost if you see here 2.0 cent per gb here 2.0 uh, cent gb then we have a near line store uh, google cloud storage 
so basically when we say near line uh, google cloud storage it means like let us assume you have some kind of data uh, which is used one or two times in a month so you can go um, uh, for this kind of storage in this case your price is almost half if you see here 1.0 cent per gb and 99% sla uh, a good option for us and then we have the cold uh, line so basically if you have uh, some data which you have to store for compliance purpose or backup purpose and you don't use that data frequently means you use that data once uh, once in a year or two times something like that so you can go for this kind of storage in this kind of storage again your price will be reduced so basically as per your requirement you can select what the cloud storage classes and you will be charged accordingly okay so now i feel like uh, the concept is clear a concept right let's let's deep dive to uh, demo and go to your uh, google console google cloud and then type cloud storage so you will see the storage option here so now if you come here you will see a option for creating a bucket so you click on the create bucket so we will get this kind of ui so name your bucket so running cloud storage okay continue now again it's asking for uh, different you want to store in one region lo lowest latency within a single region do you want to store in dual region high availability and low latency across two regions and then multi region the highest availability across largest area so we can go with that <coughs> choose a default storage class for your data so as we discussed standard near line core line and archive we can select as per the our requirement so standard is basically that multi regional kind of near line core line and archive Uh, we can talk about access control fine grain specify access to individual object by using object level permission addition to your bucket level permission so which ki uh, what kind of access control you want it, we have like fine grain so here uh, using object level permission will be able to control so basically when we are talking about cl uh, cloud bucket and uh, object inside that so we have we have a option who can access that object uh, so we have the control who can access the bucket or who can access that particular object so if you want you can have permission on object level as well as you can have access on the bucket level so if i select uniform that permission will be applied to all object in bucket so it's like a bucket level permission okay uh like if i select uniform so i will apply some permissions on that particular bucket and any object inside that permission will be applied for the example i want to uh, create a public website so i can have a bucket level uh, uh bucket level permission so this is uh, i will select this any object inside that bucket will be publicly accessible but if i select fine grain i will be having option like okay but this particular object can be accessed or this particular object cannot be accessed let's go and then we have uh, encryption where we can select google managed key customer managed key so if you want to use key by yourself you can select this option i will be selecting google managed key and then retention policy set a retention policy to specify the minimum duration that buckets object must be protected from deletion or modification after they are uploaded so basically retention policy is like uh, there might be some regulatory or policy requirement like this particular file should be available at least for 3 uh, month or you have to keep this file at least for 10 month or 2 days 5 days or whatever 
so you can set the retention policy so during that time and during that time if you try to delete that object you won't be able to delete okay and then for grouping we can add labels and other thing so once i click on the create button it will create my bucket so if you see here there is a object configuration permissions retention and life cycle so here i have the option for upload files upload folder create folder okay so i can do like if i want to upload a file i will be uh, i will be clicking on that Okay, let me uh, upload this PDF. Okay, so now if you see, I am able to store this file here, uh, embedded Android whatever file, and the size for this is year, then type and creation date, and the storage class it is telling me. And if I click here, I can I have the option for downloading edit metadata. So if I click on edit metadata. Like I can specify things like content encoding, cache control, or I can define my own uh, own object metadata. Okay, we define uniform permission, but if you want, we can change the permission using edit permission. You, if you don't rely on, if you don't rely on individual object level permission you can start managing all permission uniformly at bucket level go to the bucket permission tab to get started okay so here like uh, i can change uh, to access to owner or reader as per our requirement okay so i can change the permission here so we have other uh, copy, move, rename, export to Cloud PubSub, scan with Cloud. So Cloud PubSub also, as I in previous video, as I talked about, store the messages. So this file can be stored as a uh, send um, can be sent as a message also. So it's telling to export to Cloud PubSub, and then we have. Uh, now we can uh, have create folder so it will create a folder inside this and then we can have um, uh, another file inside that folder okay and then there is an the option for uh, hold so if i do manage hold so basically object with hold in place are protected from deletion and modification until the holds are manually removed so basically you can have um, hold on a particular file in that case uh, you won't able to delete them or modif modify them so we can have the temporary hold or uh, we can have the event based hold okay and then we have the option for delete let's go to the configuration so it's uh, telling me all like what is my default storage classes encryption type and then it's giving me the url here then let's go to the permission section so again fine grain object label ecl enable and public access subject to object ecl then we have the retention so set retention policy and uh, event based hold pattern all those stuff are there then we go to the life cycle section so in cloud storage right uh, follow a object object uh, life cycle management and uh, you can define your object life cycle for the example so our application generating logs like you are in medical or some kind of department where there is a requirement or you can say uh, let us assume we are having a log a log file which we have so whenever a log is generated it need to be stored in the google cloud storage and that log is applicable for one month in the sense like uh, you will be frequently mostly accessing that log in for one or two months uh, after that just for compliance purpose you have to store it or you will be really using one or two time 
uh, after that. So you can define, but you have to store it for the compliance purpose or for whatever purpose. So you can add a rule here. So what we can do is like we can specify, okay, this particular file, uh, particular file till will be will be there for one month, and after that, that particular file will move to near near line uh, storage, and after one month of uh, near line. It can move to the cold line storage and then archive and then we can specify okay after one after three years delete that object so uh, we can automate uh, object life cycle what's happening is you uploaded this data into your general storage from there you can specify when it need to go to near line and then cold line and then archive storage okay set storage class to near line now it's asking me we, uh, on which condition we have to move that object object to nail and storage so i can see like is so any file which is more than 30 days or 40 days or yeah, 50 days should be and uh, should be moved to nail line any file which has been created uh, or created on any file which has been created on or before this particular date need to move to near line so the, those kind of rules you can define here and it will help you to save money as well as uh, it will help us to save money okay so we can use this object lifecycle methods so i uh, i feel like now you might be having basic idea of what is uh, what is the cloud storage and how we can create a google cloud how we can create a bucket and how we can upload a file inside that and then how using life like olm we can move the data from one class to another class and how we can have uniform per bucket level permission or object level permission i will be talking more about google code cloud cloud function cloud storage and cloud pops up using all these services how we can create amazing things so we will be talking about that thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe to my channel and see you in next video